Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll take you through using the Retouching Academy panel for a quick global dodge and burn. I hope you enjoy it. So, this is it. Now, you can decide to create your own dodge and burn process or action or procedure. But I think uh, once uh, there is a panel that already has it. It doesn't necessarily mean you should go get the array panel. But if you already have it and you want to learn how to use it for dodge and burn, then this tutorial is for you. Now, this image has already been worked on using frequency separation. Now, this uh, frequency separation, I use the one from array as well. I'll have another video on how to use the frequency separation from array. But for now, we are just going to look at global dodge and burn. So if we take this off, this is the image before frequency separation. This is after frequency separation. So we are just going to do a global dodge and burn. If you look on the panel here, we have dodge, burn, then the initial aid. Now what this does is if you press dodge, it creates a dodge layer for you. If you click on burn, Place one for you. So now, what I used to do was uh, just put these two and then put them in a group, right? Like this. Then I name it DMB. But as you can see, that's a bit counterintuitive. Now, on this panel, there is one button here that has everything done for you that the dodge burn, the visual aid, all in one. For you. So on this the DMB pair setup, if you click on it, it does everything for you. So you just close this. Now you have the visual aid which converts the image to black and white. So you'll be able to tell which place to dodge and then which part of the image to burn. It just makes it easier for you to see. So you dodge the highlights and then burn the shadows. That's as simple as it is. So when you open this dodge and burn. Oh, yeah, we see dodge curve and then the burn curve. This is basically your curves. Just the curves layer. Sorry for that. It's just the curves layer. Then if you're burning, you bring it down. If you're dodging, take it up. Basically, that's it. So let me just do it. Then we make this. Then uh, we take the brush tool. This is a brush too at a flow of 2%. Now I'm using a flow of 2% because I don't want to do anything here. Now, if you mastered this, you can go to maybe 5 or 10, but I'm still you know, not where I want to be yet. So I still keep it very low, 2%. So in that way, I'm allowed to brush a couple of times without going overboard. So now let's just start with the dodge curve. Now it has there's no specific procedure as to which to do first, whether you should dodge or to burn first. It's all preferential, whichever way you want to do it. But I prefer dodging first before burning. So in this case, the highlight, now you use the bracket keys open and close to increase or decrease the size of the brush. And I use a Wacom tablet, so it's easier for me to brush. I get to one hand on the keyboard and the other one. So as I said earlier, this is a global dodge and burn. So it's just to work on the highlights and shadows, sculpt the image a bit. According to the page, so once we are done with this, we can be 
disabled or facial layer and see. Oh, my bad. Now, all we did, there was no effect. Why? Because my brush was black. Now, black on black, black, you don't see anything. So, let's change this to white. White and black reviews. Too bad. Now, let's start all over again. So, see why it's good to always refer to your image, disable whatever you're doing. Look at the before and after. That way, you need to take it. If you haven't disabled this bed and then to check what you are doing so far, you have done everything you realize you didn't do anything at all. <laughs> so it happens. Sometimes you do your frequent operation and by the time you realize you are using the brush to instead of the brush. Always good to disable folders and then check before and after just to pick that what you do. So that is it. Now we're done. guys Check me out on Instagram, Dan and me for taking on Instagram. Just DM me if you need any assistance. Any help. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.